Hello, amazing artists. We are going to build our tube sculptures today. You're gonna to need your base and your tubes. Yes, mine look different. I left all of the ones that I made at home, so we're just gonna work with this. You might ha need to use hot glue if you have it, and you're probably gonna need extra, or if you don't have hot glue, you can use Elmer's school glue, the liquid kind, not the glue stick kind. Glue sticks will not work for this part. So to start off, you're gonna need at least two tubes so that they can lean on each other. You're gonna put your glue down and set your first tube in it, and then you're gonna put glue down in another spot. And you're gonna set your second tube in it, and you're gonna lean them together, and you're gonna add some glue right where they touch. Just like that. And then you're gonna have to, oh, as you can see, even hot glue isn't instant. So if you're using liquid glue, you're going to need to hold it for a little while while it dries enough that you can let go of it. Then you're gonna decide where you want to put your third tube. Try to remember that you are figuring out not only where you're placing the tubes and how the tubes look, but also how the negative spaces, the spaces in between the tubes look. You're also looking at the way that the shadows work on the base and within the other tubes. So these are all things that are really important to consider. You wanna look at it from multiple angles while you are deciding where to glue things. And I recommend making a pretty good base of tubes to start off with. You might recall that I said your bare minimum of tubes was five and I've already used three tubes. So it really does benefit you to have more than five tubes to make a really cool looking sculpture. All right, now after you get a good base going, you can start building up with your tubes as well. So I'm gonna work on my base. Okay, so now I have created a really good base. I've been turning it. I've been looking at the way that the tubes interact with each other and the way that the shadows interact with the base. And now I'm ready to start really building up. So to do that, I'm putting some glue on tubes and then I'm just holding it until the glue dries. And you can see that the tube is kind of suspended um, almost in air. It's not touching the base anymore. All your tubes do not need to touch the base. All right, and you can start building up on top of the tops of tubes even. You can start cutting tubes to make them shorter. Um, anything you need to do to make your sculpture the way that you want it. Make sure that you're not getting kind of trapped into using a tube to kind of brace two other tubes though because then all of your sculptures will end up kind of looking the same. So you can see that I have braced a tube across two tubes and I'm thinking about maybe doing it again. And then, you know, you just gotta kind of experiment with it. Sometimes you're gonna put a tube down and it's not gonna be exactly what you want. So make sure that you're continuously rotating your sculpture around so it doesn't get lopsided so that you can see where things need to go and put the tube down on the sculpture before you actually glue it down. That way you have an idea of how it's going to look before you commit. There you can see that I'm cutting a tube in half so that I can put it someplace and make it look awesome. All right, I'm gonna keep on working on my sculpture.